Today we are going to learn how to do a single posterior crown on ExoCup. So begin by starting a new project and filling up these camps. So select uh, the name of the dentist. Write down the patient's name and select the technician's name. Now select the crown you want to do and if you are looking for a full contour select an atomic crown. For this example we're going to select zirconia and at this stage you can change the cement cap if you want. If you are happy with it press OK uh, because it, in this case we have the working model and an antagonist you come here on the scan mode and select two models in occlusion and save the project and select design so now the software is going to ask you to bring up the, the scan files and first he asks you to bring up the upper jaw so select the upper jaw and press open and the lower jaw open now if you see this image you need to see the model with color or gray and not red because if you see red is because you are seeing it from the bottom so make sure that you are seeing it from the top and press next now select the margin, just press the point in the margin and the software will discover the rest of the margin for you. If you want to adjust it, come correct and draw and select the points. Make sure everything is on the right spot and when you are happy with it, go next. So at this stage you can change the cement cap again. So the yellow represents the cement cap and the green part it's where there is no cement, like a ceiling around the margin. So go next. Now here you select from the library the morphology that most resembles the patient's morphology so I'll choose this one and now you can place it so you can drag it all around you can use the control key to rotate it and the shift key to scale it up or down so at this stage make sure that uh, you place the crown in the right position because it's going to make it easier on the next stage so you don't you, you do fewer changes after after you place the crown so usually I, I like to make sure that the ridges are at the same level the proximal ones and also make sure that the crown is following the vocal corridor something like this once you are happy with it, go next and now you see that you have some of these marks which represents like the strength of the contact points on the, on the occlusion and to get rid of them you go adapt and use the cut intersections tool and the, the software will cut it for you like this and i like to do the same on the proximal ones so if you come here you can select adjacent and you see that it's touching the, the, the adjacent teeth and usually I like to make the contact point a bit stronger like this and then use the adapt tool 
on the proximal and select this arrow to make it minus 0.01 and use the cut intersections tool to make sure that there will be a contact point after the milling. Now you can use these tools to shape the teeth so you have the add tool to make it bigger and bulkier. You have the smooth tool which it smooths out the surface. Also this one if you press shift you can decrease volume. Uh, but today to keep it simple I'll just leave it as it is and I'm happy with the design so I go next and if everything is okay say I'm done and go next now to get access to the to the core file of the design just come here open in explorer and this will be the file where the crown is this is the file of the crown and there you have it a single posterior crown on exocap